Good. Hello. Good morning and welcome to the morning show. I'm your host, Daryl Lorette. Oh, by the way, this is Daryl Lorette Cafe. So, how are we this morning? You know, I went to bed last night at uh, 7 o'clock. I was actually able to stay up and watch Coronation Street until 7 o'clock and then I went to bed. And guess what? I got about five hours sleep and I've been up now for about two hours. And that's it. So uh, I was hoping to get a little more sleep like uh, because uh, I was up, uh, I don't know how long, 18 hours maybe, maybe more. So uh, here we go. I just, uh, I just uh, like, since I've been up now for what, two hours, I'm like really hungry. <laughs> because I haven't eaten since uh, what 3:30 yesterday afternoon. So now I got to now I got to now I got to eat now. So I uh, just came from the kitchen like I do every morning. And I got a big bowl of oatmeal here and I got my last two chopped bananas or I got my last two bananas that are chopped. And this morning I got a cup of peppermint tea with ginger I think is in it so so that's 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 it so far uh, yesterday what did we do yesterday we uh, yesterday we got some 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 batteries for the camera I uh, I bought uh, I bought uh, four batteries uh, when was it maybe three months ago and two batteries lasted me three months so that's not too bad so I got the, the last two batteries in the camera now and I figure no sense of waiting until I run out of batteries I will get four more so I did that yesterday and ran another airing uh, errand as well <coughs> I gotta get some food in me here mmm I can hear the hunger. So yeah, that's pretty much my uh, yesterday. That's I had to, um, you know, I went to the camera store. They had a sign on the on the window next to the door that said uh, that gave their hours, and it said that yesterday that they would be open at nine o'clock. <laughs> So, after running another another errand, I come back at about 10 to 9. And, you know, nine, 5 after 9 rolls around. There's a girl in there who work, who's working in, in the back. And the lights are on, but the doors are shut, but they're open. They're not locked. They, they're open, and uh, the lights, most of the lights are on. So I'm figuring they're going to be open in 10 minutes, but 5 after, it's 5 after 9, and she still hasn't opened the door, so I tap on the glass, and she comes out, and I say, aren't you open at 9 o'clock, because the sign said you were open at 9 o'clock, no, the hours have changed, because they, they, they took the sign off, the sign was there, and then when she got there, she took the sign off the, off the window, so she said, no, we don't open until 9.30. And it was like the first half of the week they're open on the sign. It said first half of the week that they're open at nine o'clock, say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then and then say Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or whatever they were open at nine thirty for some reason. I don't know why these stores in this mall open up at nine thirty and ten o'clock in the morning. That's like half of the day's over, and you're not even open for business for crying out loud. And they're only open for what eight hours a day. How do you run a business and make any money only working eight hours a day? <laughs> hmm. You got a store in a mall? You're paying a lot of money for rent, let me tell you. So I'd be like, there's a the guy who sells, I buy shoelaces from this one guy. It's like one of the very few stores that are actually open early in the morning, before 9 o'clock. And it's like, you know, God, if I ever need shoelaces, I'll be going, going to see that guy again. 
you know that's you know that's that's the what that's what you want to see when you go to a mall you want to see stores open you know nine o'clock no later than nine o'clock the kids are in school or whatever I mean even uh, some of the banks are now open at at they're opened at 8 30 in the morning for crying out loud some of them are still not opened up until 9 30 but at least some of them are making an effort to open up earlier realizing that people some people get up early and need to do business early in the morning you know they don't want to wait until 9 30 or 10 o'clock you know there's a whole demographic out there that uh, they're not uh, you know uh, addressing their needs anyway I gotta get some food in me I'm famished and I got some spaghetti that's gonna be done in about whew, 10 minutes I think not real spaghetti it's Daryl Lorette cafe spaghetti internet uh, internet games video game spaghetti yeah it's Tron Tron the movie <laughs> spaghetti Tron cafe the Tron cafe You know, it's amazing. I never even seen the original. I wanted to see that movie when I was a teenager, but I never went to see it for some reason. And I, I have actually, to my knowledge, I've never actually watched the bloody thing. And now they've come out with a, a, a sequel or a remake or whatever, 30 years later. And I'm not going to see that either. <laughs> Even the video game I thought sucked. You know, I, I don't even think I played the video game when I, if I skipped school to go to the arcade, which was only across the street, high school. Skipped high school to go to the arcade that was across the street. I never played Tron, let me tell you that. Anyway. Isn't it just wonderful? So yesterday I did my laundry. Did my laundry yesterday. Well, I think the the effing holidays are finally over for crying out loud. Holy God. I mean... For 12 days in a row, I, uh, there was nothing on TV but marathons, science fiction marathons. That's all I could watch. Actually, I didn't even really watch much TV at all. I spent most of the time over the holidays on the on the computer here. That's the situation, man. So I just blogged about uh, eight videos up on my blogs. There's a uh, a link to the uh, blog here on my YouTube profile if you want to check out my main blog, Daryl Red Cafe. You'll find at least one video a day on there, and then I've got you know there's a, there's a lot of videos, there's a lot of stuff to blog so. I gotta have more than one blog, so but that's the main that's the main blog down there. You wanna check out that, you know, I'm following uh all kinds of stuff that's going on in the world. So yeah. Wow, I am like famished. Okay, let's try some of this tea here. 
Ooh, that's good stuff. Later, I'm gonna have to have the. I'm gonna have to have an, <clears throat> another cup, and I'm gonna have to have a cup of ginger tea. Just in case I start to fall asleep on myself. And we know how embarrassing that can be. Wake up in the morning, your pants down around your knees and wondering, what the heck is going on here? I fell asleep with my pants down. <laughs> what the heck was I doing? That ever happened to you? <laughs> Oh, he didn't go there, did he? I don't know. Did I? Or maybe you just imagined I went there. No, he went there. Yeah, he did. He ain't fooling me. Well, Better keep her eye on the clock before I choke to death on my oatmeal here. Ugh. Better get some tea down my neck. So we're running out of time again. Time is just flying by here. Like we're already 12 minutes. <clears throat> just about 12 minutes. There we go. Okay. I better go down to the cafe. Actually, I think I got it here on the other... Uh, no, I don't. I must have... Yeah, I better go down and check that out. I think the spaghetti is almost done. I got nothing down there, and people are walking away with sad faces. Okay, dog. That's it for me for today. This is Daryl Lorette here at Daryl Lorette Cafe. Wishing you a good hump day. All right. See you next time.